becoming a profitable trader is extremely challenging. If it was easy, then everybody would be a millionaire day trader. And I know when you look on Instagram and YouTube, it looks like everybody is a millionaire day trader. But I promise you, most people struggle to make money in the markets. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys what holds back nine out of 10 people from becoming profitable. I've worked with hundreds of traders over the years, and I always see this one issue always come up in a lot of people's trading. And no, it's not the strategy, so I'm not gonna sit here and talk shit about your smart money concepts or your indicators. I'm gonna be talking about the psychology side of things, and that's the boring stuff. Everyone wants to know what the best trading strategy is, what the new holy grail is, but the thing is, you can be profitable with pretty much any strategy that you want. Strategies are the simple part. Learning where to buy and sell the market is easy. Anyone can learn any strategy. Even the strategies that seem complicated are actually pretty easy. It's you know, you figure out the trend, you determine where you want to buy or sell the market, and then you figure out an entry signal. Most strategies follow the same guidelines. They just go about it a different way. So it's not the strategy that holds a lot of you back. It's the psychology side of things. It's the emotions. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a solution. And the problem is when you're by yourself and you're just trading by yourself, you're being a lone wolf, it's very hard to self-analyze and be self-aware. It's hard to identify problems when there's no one else pointing it out to you. That's why having a mentor or a coach is so powerful. I've mentioned in previous videos that I've done martial arts for probably close to 15 years, maybe even more. And I'm decently good, not to be cocky or arrogant, but I have a lot of experience. But if I were to just train by myself, I won't catch the same mistakes as if I had an instructor. I have an instructor that points out to me, oh, you didn't rechamber your kick right there. And I may have not caught that if I was just practicing by myself at home. So I'm going to give you guys the main problem that holds back a lot of traders. And maybe once I point it out to you, you might realize, oh, that's the problem I'm dealing with. And then you know how to address it. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 1,000 subscribers, and I'm just dying to do that giveaway for you guys. So subscribe if you haven't already. And in today's video, I'm also going to be trying this cigar for the very first time. This was actually a gift from a friend of mine. It's a cigar from West Tampa Tobacco Company. So we're gonna see how it is. I've never tried this cigar before. Usually I smoke A. Chupman's or Romeo's. So we'll see if I like this cigar and if I wanna get more of them. So. I'm gonna go ahead and light this up while I talk to you guys. That lighter's dead. Okay, so the main thing that holds back a lot of traders is the stress. Trading is stressful, and a lot of people don't perform well under stress. So to perform well, you need to develop a high stress tolerance. Trading is stressful, there's no way around it. Well, there are a couple ways around it, but most people don't like it. So when you're trading, you're dealing with a lot of stress, a lot of emotions. That's because you're putting money on the line and you may lose that money, you may make some money, but there's a high probability that you're gonna lose money. Even the best traders in the world lose money. So the other thing is that you're dealing with being wrong. A lot of people don't like being told to their face that they're wrong and they don't know what they're doing. Even I don't like that, but I had to learn to deal with it if I wanted to become a profitable trader. So you're risking money and you're also risking your ego. Those are like the two most important things in most people's life, their finance and their ego. So how do you deal with this stress? Well, you have to build a high stress tolerance. What this means is you have to learn to perform well under pressure. Most people crack under pressure. They fold, they get anxious or nervous, and then they end up falling flat on their face. So you need to figure out how you can perform well under pressure. And I'm going to tell you guys how I personally did it. And it has a lot to do, again, with my martial arts history. A lot of people ask me how I was able to develop such strong trading psychology because not only do I mentor people on trading strategy, teaching them the way that I trade, it also has a lot to do with the psychology because as I mentioned, the strategy is not everything. So a lot of the psychology that applies to trading, I learned through doing martial arts for 15 plus years. And there's nothing more high pressure than getting kicked in the face. And trust me, I've gone home with black eyes before. So that is stressful. You're risking getting kicked in the face and you know, getting kicked in the face by when everyone watches, that's also very stressful. You don't wanna look like you don't know what you're doing. So 
And when you're trading, you need to figure out how you can do well under high stress, just the same way in martial arts. I had to figure out how to perform well even when all the eyes are on me and I might get kicked in the face and I might lose the fight. So let's go over how you can build a high stress tolerance. And honestly, personally, now that I mastered this and I figured it out, I perform better under pressure because if there's no pressure, then I don't really have a reason to try. You know, it's whatever, nothing's gonna happen. But if something is at risk, whether like I mentioned, it's my finance, I might lose money, or it's my ego, people are gonna see that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna be wrong. Those high pressure environments, I perform better in them. So that's why when I trade, I'm able to do decently well because I perform better when there is a lot of pressure on me. If I was just trading on a demo account, then there's no pressure and I would be taking willy-nilly trades, just doing whatever, messing around. And I probably wouldn't make serious money. But the fact that I am taking real trades with live money and also I run a mentorship group, people wanna see that I perform well as a trader. If I sucked at trading, no one would join the mentorship group. So that right there is a lot of pressure. I even record myself trading live, I do live trading. Not so people can copy my trades, but so people in the mentorship group can see my trades in real time. They can see how I develop trade ideas, how I enter the trades, how I manage the trades. So imagine I took a garbage trade, like a trade that I shouldn't have taken. It was absolutely terrible. And then I post that video to my students in the private mentorship group. People are gonna look at me like, what is this guy doing? He doesn't know what he's doing. So that right there is a lot of pressure. I have to perform well because there's a lot on the line. And that's the trick. You need to get that drilled into your head that there's a lot on the line. So that is when you need to perform your best. You can fuck around and do whatever you want when there's nothing at risk. Maybe you're trading on a demo account. And this applies to a lot of things in life. That's why I'll tell you guys, when I was in like middle school, I didn't have the best grades. And it's because I honestly thought this really doesn't matter. And that's probably not the best mindset. I'm not recommending you do that. You should do well in school. But I figured out that middle school, you know, sixth grade math class, it's not gonna affect my future. So I didn't really do that well. Then when I got to high school, I started to take things a little bit more seriously, get better grades because I realized, okay, my future might be on the line. So that's the exact same mindset. When there's something at risk, there's something on the line, you need to perform your best. So that's the main thing that's going to help you perform well in a high stress environment. You need to realize that is the time to perform, not when nothing is at risk. That's the time where you can just you know sit back and relax. But when something is at risk, whether it's your future, your finance, your ego, whatever it is, that is when you need to be at your best and perform at your best. And that's how I was able to become a profitable trader. Obviously, there's a lot of other things that go into it, you know, a lot of studying, a lot of testing, a lot of experience was being built, but that's another thing. Experience has a lot to do with it. If you've only done something once or twice, or 10 times, even if you've done something 15 times, you're still gonna be a little bit unsure of yourself. But if you have done something hundreds of times, then you become more, what's the word? You become more assured of yourself, you're more confident. So this is why I'm such a big advocate of day trading, because you build a lot of experience as a day trader. You're taking a lot of trades, for every one or two trades an intraday or a swing trader takes, I'm taking 10 or 20 trades. So by the time they've taken five trades in the past month, I've taken 100 trades in the past month. So 50 to 100, you guys get the idea. So that is going to help you perform well in those high pressure environments. Having the experience, building the experience, and also realizing that is the time that you need to perform at your best, not when nothing doesn't matter, okay, you guys? So I know I haven't really smoked the cigars because I was kind of on a roll with that rant, but let's go ahead and try this out and you guys will see what I think of it. Now, I don't want this channel, well, it's not going to, but this isn't a cigar testing channel or where I talk about cigars all the time, but I like smoking cigars, especially when I'm recording. So let's go ahead and try this out. It's mild, tastes good, a little mild. Not bad, not bad. So like I was saying, that's pretty much how you can start performing better in your trading. You need to realize that is the time for you to perform your best. That's why I'm not a huge fan of demo accounts because they don't matter. So you can really do whatever you want on them. When you're trading live money, real capital, 
even if you're trading on a funded account, but it's a live funded account. As you guys know, I have two FTMO trading accounts that I trade on. So I want to perform at my best. When you're trading on a demo account, you can do whatever you want. You can mess around. Even if you're trading on a $100 trading account, you can do whatever you want. It's not going to be a big deal if you lose that 100 bucks. But let's say you put a lot of your own money on the line then you have something to lose and you're probably gonna take better trades. So you need to figure out how you can perform better under pressure and that's going to come through experience. Once you get a lot of trades under your belt, then it's going to be no big deal. I've mentioned in other videos that I've been day trading for about two years now, almost every single day. And there's like 250 trading days in a year. So I've at least taken three to 400 trades in the past two years. That is way more experience than the average swing trader or intraday trader takes. Like I said, for every one or two trades they take a week or a month, I've taken five times as many trades. And that builds a lot of experience, builds a lot of confidence, and allows me to perform better under pressure. So let's take a quick cigar break. That is, that, that's pretty mild, but it tastes good. I usually like a little bit darker. This still tastes good. But that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I have a very special video being released tomorrow, Friday. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll actually tell you guys what it is right here. You're gonna get to see me trading live. One of those live trading sessions I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, I'm going to be posting it on my YouTube channel Friday afternoon. So if you wanna see me trading the markets in real time with real money, seeing the actual execution, the entry, the management, all of that, Make sure to subscribe and watch Friday's video. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke the cigar. I have to go train um, for martial arts class in, what time is it? In about two hours, two and a half hours. So I'm gonna smoke a cigar, do a little bit of work, and then go train. I hope you guys have a great rest of your trading week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.